Well, everyone, in today's video, we're going to be installing a works connection, hard enduro skid plate on the 16 RMZ 250. Looks to be a relatively simple job. First thing we're going to do is remove these stock factory little plastic bash guards for the water pump. It's only one bolt, so we'll time lapse that because that's pretty simple. Here's the stock plastic guards we took off. As you can see, this one here is already taking a pretty nasty hit. So we're gonna sub that out for some aluminum. Okay, well the skid plate comes with these little rubber bushings. I've already got one installed. It's kind of tricky, you know, I'm a little gimped right now. I got, a, got an injury. So I'm gonna try to install this other bracket there for you guys. It's pretty simple, you just slowly work it in. And we're locked in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Out after. Well, you get this foam with your skid plate. It's to run in the skid plate to keep mud and track dirt out of your skid plate out from under your motor, but I don't really ride any trails or mud. It's usually all sandy and pits, so I'm not gonna be running it with this setup. Okay, well, we started our in skid plate install. And we figured out if you leave the bolts in really loose back here on this back bracket, if it'll focus. There we go. This back bracket, you can just slide them up in with the bolts in the skid plate and then tighten it on. And we already had just popped in our little aluminum bracket for the back here. Well, pretty much lines up right where it is. So perfect fit for work connection. As you can see their logos. CNC machine in the skid plate here. Great product, I recommend everyone to get one. Man, it really sucks on it. You could really be really nice having a little lift. <laughs> Tightens up pretty nice. Perfect. Mm -hmm. well done. 